This video will cover distribution visualizations, including buckets, histograms, and an introduction to area line graphs. We begin with a data set that contains gender, dominant hand, and salary. We have calculated a number of different measures, including the mean, median, minimum, maximum, range, interquartile range, variance, standard deviation, and a list of z-scores. Next, we'll build a histogram, which is the most common way to visualize a numeric distribution. To build a distribution, we'll group the data into buckets or bins of equal size. This will effectively transform the variable into a categorical variable, allowing us to count the occurrences of each bucket. Next, we determine the size of each bucket. First, we locate our minimum and maximum values. Then we subtract the minimum from the maximum and divide by the number of buckets. This gives us a value of $1,536. Next, we need to figure out the starting value for each bucket. Starting with the lowest salary, we add the size of the bucket to determine the starting value of the second bucket. We do this until we obtain the starting values for all 10 buckets. We'll add a new column to the original table to assign each person into a salary bucket. Summarize the new variable, starting value of salary bucket, counting how many occurrences of each bucket are observed. Note that although this variable is numeric, by summarizing it, we're treating it as a categorical variable. Finally, we'll make a simple bar chart to visualize this table. This bar chart is known as a histogram, and it's one of the most common methods of visualizing a numeric distribution. Although many software packages can produce a histogram very quickly, as we've seen, creating one involves quite a few steps. If we change the visualization to an area line graph and change the vertical axis to the percent of records by dividing the count by the total number of records, the result is similar to what is known as a probability density function, or PDF. This is commonly used in statistics to estimate the probability of a new value. For now, we just need to know that the shaded area under the curve adds up to 1, or 100%, and that the lines are typically much smoother than we see in this example, which is because most PDFs visualize more than 10 data points and use more than 10 buckets. This concludes our video on distribution visualizations. Today we covered buckets, histograms, as well as a brief introduction to the use of area line graphs. <laughs>